Well, good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to another week of Kingdom Kids, learning about Jesus and sharing in his word. I'm excited to talk to you this morning, boys and girls, about our special lesson. You see, today is a very special day because it's in fact Pan Sunday. Yay! Pan Sunday, boys and girls, is that a day that we celebrate palm trees? No, of course not. Palm Sunday is the day that we celebrate Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. It's the beginning of the amazing Easter story, starting off with the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem and ends with Jesus rising from the grave on Easter Sunday. But what makes this story so amazing and special, boys and girls, is that the way that Jesus enters Jerusalem you see, on Palm Sunday, the people waved palm leaves. They laid them on the ground like so. They even laid their coats on the ground like so to welcome the King of Kings who humbly rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. Can you make a donkey noise, boys and girls? <coughs> Oh, I'm sure you did great. See, Jesus enters Jerusalem very humbly, riding on the back of a borrowed donkey. And this shows us, boys and girls, that Jesus came to serve and to save his people. That's you and me and everyone in the whole wide world. You see, boys and girls, it was God's amazing love for us that caused him to send his son, Jesus his overwhelming heart of love for the whole world. You see, Jesus was the Messiah, the King. And so you would have expected him to enter Jerusalem with all this fanfare and displays of wealth or even ride in on a big war horse. But Jesus did none of these things. He entered Jerusalem on a donkey, a symbol of peace. And boys and girls, before um, we explore our lesson any further this morning, I thought that we'd maybe play a wee fun game. Now, boys and girls, it's a classic. It's called Pin the Donkey. Well, boys and girls, here we have it. Pin the tail on the donkey. And um, for those that have played it before, you know the score. As for those that don't, um, you place a little blindfold over your eyes and um, you can do a few twirls that you wish and uh, place the tail on the donkey like so um now it's harder than you think so here goes just gonna place the blindfold on here and uh, i'm not gonna do the twirls as they don't uh, agree with me so um we're just gonna go straight for it here now no peeking there's no cheating in the mccartney family so uh oh <laughs> Do you think is it here? Do you think is it there? Let's see. Okay, wonder how you did, people. Let's see. Oh, ho, ho, ho. pretty close. I appreciate you can't maybe see that so well, but look, it's really quite close, but not close enough. So we will try again. Here goes tail number two. See now, ooh, well, if this is close, then we can maybe. Let's see. Yes. Let's see. How am I doing? Bullseye! Yes! Simple as that, boys and girls. So that was just a wee bit of fun for um, our theme of Palm Sunday today. Now, boys and girls, um, we are going to have our Bible reading now. And then, boys and girls, stay with us because I'm going to introduce you to some new friends that I made this week. The reading is found in Matthew 21, verses 1 to 9. Jesus comes to Jerusalem as king. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfil what was spoken through the prophet. Say to daughter Sion, see, your king comes to you, 
gentle and riding on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the tree and spread them on the road. The crowds then went ahead of him, and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Amen. Hi, boys and girls. We're going to go over here and introduce you to some new friends that we made this week. Hi, Hi everyone. Meet our new friends. This is Jenny. And this is Meg. And, they, and this is Jack. <laughs> And they like to eat lots of bread. Some bread. Hi, cute. Come on, Jack. That's it, Jack. It was a parade like no other. Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem was a big deal. Boys and girls, it's like when a queen or a king comes to visit your town and all the streets are lined with people and they roll out the red carpet. In Jesus' day, the streets were lined up and instead of a red carpet, in them days, they threw coats on the ground and some palm leaves on the ground, like so. And that showed um, that the people acknowledged Jesus as their king. And they waved their palm branches. They waved palm branches and threw them on the ground. Palm branches are a sign of celebration and also a sign of victory. Boys and girls, nobody knew the events that were going to take place that week when Jesus died on the cross on Good Friday and rose from the grave on the Sunday. Jesus' victory over death. And they were singing, Hosanna! Hosanna! And Hosanna simply means save us. And Jesus has saved us, boys and girls, because he died for us and he rose from the grave, making it possible for us to be in heaven with him forever. Boys and girls, just as the donkey carried Jesus into Jerusalem, if we have Jesus in our hearts and our lives, we can carry Jesus to our schools, we can carry it to our friends, our family, and even to our cities. What a privilege, what a joy, boys and girls. Carry Jesus wherever you go. Well, boys and girls, our memory verse this week is John chapter six, verse 29. Jesus answered, God wants you to have faith in the one that he sent. A crowd of people had came to Jesus and they had asked him a very important question. What is it that God wants us to do? And Jesus answered very simply. He said, God wants you to have faith in the one he sent. Of course, the one he sent was indeed Jesus. And it's so important for us to put our faith in Jesus because he is the only one that God sent. He is the only one who can take away our sin. So let's have a go at memorizing this. John chapter 6 verse 29. Jesus answered, God wants you to have faith in the one he sent. Brilliant. Well done. So we try a few actions with that. Let's see if I can do it. John chapter 6 Verse 29, Jesus answered, God wants you to have faith in the one that he sent. Brilliant. Well done. Will you give it one more go? Dare we try it? John chapter 6, verse 29, Jesus answered, God wants you to have faith in the one that he sent. Brilliant. Well done. Keep memorizing. Bye. Thank
29. Jesus said, God wants you to have faith at the one that he sent.
Well, boys and girls, thank you for tuning in to another week of Kingdom Kids. And as we draw this morning's Palm Sunday lesson to a close, remember that Jesus is the King that we need. And my challenge to you today is to honour Jesus Christ as the King of your life every day. Boys and girls, understand that Jesus cares for you. Know that Jesus loves you deeply. So let's now um, talk to God in prayer. So let's clap our hands and close your eyes. Dear God, thank you for saving us. Thank you for your work in our lives. Help us to always praise your holy name and thank you for loving us. Thank you for your son, Jesus. In your name we pray, amen. Okay, boys and girls, see you next week.